Hi, I'm Janice. I teach science here in Clearwater, Florida. And today I'm here to talk to you about how you make metric conversions for chemistry. Now, in the field of science, we use the metric system for measurement. And the reason for that is that we have scientists all over the world and they want to be able to communicate with each other, so they need a common language to speak in. And so the metric system is the common language of measurement when we're talking about science. But when you're doing a lot of chemistry problems, maybe stoichiometry problems, trying to figure out how many grams of this you would need to make so many grams of that, you sometimes need to do conversions. So for instance, if they gave me an answer in milliliters, or an amount in milliliters, and they wanted to know how many liters, I would have to do a metric conversion. Or maybe they gave me milligrams, and they wanted to know how many grams that was. So to do the metric conversion, you have to look at what you're converting from and what you're going to. So for instance, when I'm dealing with uh, milliliters to liters, which is a pretty typical conversion, or milligrams to grams, also pretty typical, I have to look at that letter right there, because that's going to tell me what my factor of 10 is going to be. The metric system is all based on powers of 10. And so that's great, because doing metric conversions really only involves moving a decimal place, because you're just dividing by 10. So one liter actually equals 1,000 milligrams. The prefix milli means 1,000. So let's say that I had, oh, I don't know, 250 milligrams. And I wanted to know how many liters that was. Well, what I would have to do is I would have to divide by 1,000. Now, my decimal place would be right here. Well, when I divide by 1,000, there's two ways I can do it. I can you know, set it up with the zeros, cross out the zeros, I can punch it into a calculator, or I can just move my decimal place. So if it's a thousand that I'm dividing by, that's three powers of ten. So I'm going to move my decimal place one, two, three places. So 250 milligrams would actually equal 0 0.250 liters. Now if you had centigrams, centi equals a hundred, you would only be moving it two decimal places. So metric conversions are going to be based on what you're converting from to what you're converting to. And you'll need to know what each of the different prefixes means so that you know how many places you're going to have to move your decimal place. So that's how you make metric conversions in chemistry. I'm Janice. Have a great day.